Hello, it is December 16th, 2011, and this will be a gold update. As of 12 14 2011, the third accelerate uptrend has broken. So, what does this mean, and why should anyone care? First, the overall trend in gold is the best indicator when it comes to the overall changes in consumer prices because it is the best indicator of inflation today for the reasons we shall pick up on later. But for now, let's focus on the technicals. Trend breaks are the most important event in chart patterns, especially after the formation of a continuation or reversal pattern. Gold was just in a triangle formation pattern, which is normally a continuation pattern. Therefore, my baseline suspicion is to expect that the prices will continue forward. But in the process of examining the triangle formation, I failed to mention that it was on its third accelerate line, which is normally unstable in any direction. Therefore, since the pattern was a fail, investors look for the next support level. The recent price moves could be a false signal, but that is not the most likely case scenario, so I wouldn't bet on Since gold is still in a strong uptrend, it has several support levels which I will go over in the order from closest to furthest. First, I want to take a look at the unconfirmed trend that has been in place since 2005. In technical analysis, the connection of two points start a trend line just as in geometry, the connection of two or more points makes a line. This is an unconfirmed trend because only two points have been connected, but it takes the third point to confirm a trend in technical analysis. If this trend is confirmed to be a real trend, then the price collapse that occurred in 2008 was a whipsaw and a false break of the trend. If that is the case, then this would be the most important support trend line. Otherwise, keep your eye on the retracement line specifically for the trend that has started in 2009 that is drawn out. Next, you want to find the levels where resistance becomes support. In the spring of this year, we had a resistance level around 1500 that now can act as a support level. The next barrier would be the second accelerate trend line. When a trend increases the slope of its uptrend, by the trend accomplishing steeper support levels, the trend is considered accelerated but possibly weaker. To gain strength, it tends to fall back down towards a slope closer to 45 degree angle. For now, I will zoom in to the 10 day intraday chart. In the short term chart, prices have fell rapidly and accomplished a third accelerate on the downside. It has broken its third accelerate trend line and in the process formed a double bottom, which has become the birth of a new short term uptrend. If it breaks the point I have circled on the red resistance line, then we would need to look for the next level of resistance. Keep in mind, this is short term, and when dealing with trends, they contain waves which are contained within waves. The short term waves are not important, but the long term trend is more prevalent. 